so we are here at the EBMT 2019 and I just gave a, a talk where I discussed what is the role of the um, intestinal microbiome in the risk for graft versus host after an allogeneic bone marrow transplantation. What I did is, is I spoke about two uh, topics. The first one was a multi-center study that we have just uh, finished where we collected weekly stool samples from four centers in uh, Japan, Germany, and um, within, the, uh, within the US. Um, and what we saw there were dramatic changes in the composition of the flora. Specifically, we saw a loss of the uh, diversity. And what we found in all centers was a similar uh, pattern, specifically that when the uh, diversity was lost to a greater extent, at about 14 days after the allogeneic transplant, that would lead to a greater risk for lethal graft versus host. And that held up for all four centers. Apart from that study, I also spoke about a, a newer study where we specifically looked at what happened with the domination of the flora with a, a bacteria Enterococcus. What we noticed both in mouse and man is that this, specific, uh, that this specifically happens during a graft versus host and that the enterococcus in multiple ways seem to aggravate the graft versus host. One of the ways by which it does that is by pushing out all of the normal uh, commensal flora that is capable of making short chain fatty acids that are very relevant for the health of the gut. Um, a second way by which it does that is by increasing the risk for uh, um, infection and a third way by, by which it does that is the activation of donor, uh, of donor, of alloactivated donor T cells that lead to a graft versus host. All of that leads to more graft versus host. And in a mouse model, we figured out actually that Enterococcus has a very specific need for lactose. So its metabolic pathways are different from those that are used by most of the uh, commensal flora uh, bacteria. And then we went one step further and demonstrate that if we put mice on a lactose-free diet, we get lower levels of a graft versus host. We also looked in uh, patients and we saw indeed that patients who are lactose uh, intolerant have a higher incidence of enterococcus uh, dominance. Um, so this gives us some new links that both the flora and our diet could be very relevant for post-transplant risk for a graft versus host.